I wanted to come on today and do my, what was it? I think it's April. Is it April? It was April. Do my April favorites. I think I finally have the lighting figured out. I'm not sure. Kind of let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, so let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is this. It's um, very reminiscent of the Beauty Blender. It's very squishy. And when you, first when I wet it, um, first time I did, I was kind of confused because it wasn't getting bigger. I was like running it under the water and running it under the water and it wasn't getting like any larger. So I was like, okay, well maybe this isn't a dupe. Because I was looking for a dupe because I'm really not comfortable spending $20 on a makeup sponge. But I found this at Walgreens. I think it's by the brand Soho. I'm, I think so. Um, I'll list everything down in the below bar so you'll know exactly <clears throat> where to find it and how much it is and everything. I think it was about $10.99, so half the price. But what you actually have to do with it is run it under the water and like squeeze it and then it will get bigger. I mean it gets to about twice the size and it just makes putting on your foundation like super, super easy. Like you can put your whole face on in about 2.5 seconds. So I absolutely love this um, Soho Beauty Sponge. Next I want to talk about a um, lip product that I've been gravitating towards a lot. Now, because of acne medication and stuff like that, if you're on acne medication, like any type of benzoyl peroxide or anything like that, you'll know that your lips get really, really dry. So, I have been opting for like lip butters, like the Revlon lip butters and um, the Cora's lip butter and stuff over like lipstick most of the time. I also really love this um, Carmex Moisture Plus, and I feel like this doesn't get a lot of love here on YouTube, but I'm not really sure why. But this one is the tinted one, and I think it's in pink or something like that. But it just gives you a nice kind of hint of color, and it makes your lips look very, very moisturized at the same time. So I absolutely, absolutely love, love, love this. been wearing it every single day in April. Next thing I want to talk about is been my most worn mascara for this month. And if you know, if you've watched my channel for a while, you'll know that the Maybelline 1 by one is pretty much my all-time favorite but this is, comes in probably at a close second if I want something that's more natural looking and I really want to define each and every single lash instead of them looking like really kind of full and I would say this isn't a volume nor a lengthening mascara I would just say it's more natural so you kind of have to have long good lashes to begin with to make this work for you but I do love this. It's the Revlon 3D Volume and I have been reaching for this mostly every day just because it's super easy and it doesn't clump on me at all ever and I can get into those really really small areas in the front of your eye kind of like where your what is it the corner of your eye where you have those tiny little lashes um, it has the little kind of ball at the end so you can really get in there and kind of define everything. Next is something that I am super, super, super excited about because I, I fight with my brows a lot. Um, it took me a long time to kind of figure out something that worked for me and the only problem is, is that I feel like it takes so long and I'm like, oh, I don't want to spend so long on my freaking eyebrows. So I seen someone talk about this. God, I'm not sure who it is. Makeup by, is it Allie or something? Something like that? Makeup by Allie? I think so. But this is the Revlon Colorstay Brow Enhancer. And I actually found this on clearance at Walmart, so I'm hoping that it's not either being discontinued or something. But I got mine in <clears throat> black and brown and taupe. Highlighter on one end and the tinted wax on the other, which is what I really love. Is It's just one easy step to kind of, you know, I don't have to mess with a brow gel or anything like that. I can just quickly kind of, you know, draw my brows on and the wax in here. The wax that is in this brown kind of pencil wax thing kind of sets them at the same time and you can just pop this under your brow and I also put it in the inner corner to kind of brighten everything up and it's just been so easy. I can do my brows in like 
probably under a minute versus it would take me otherwise probably I would say about five minutes to kind of really get on the way I want them. So I am in love, 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 love with this. It's like going to go down as one of my like favorite products of all time. Love it. So now we're on to favorite nail polishes of the month. So I have two colors and one glitter. And these are just colors that I have reached for since I have so many nail polishes. What I kind of how I figured this out was if I reach for something more than once or multiple times then like in a row then that was what I was gonna do because I do tend to paint my nails every day or every other day one of the two it just kind of depends just because I have so much nail polish and I love nail polish and it's just super easy for me to paint my nails every day since I'm at home but um these are the ones that I've been loving and this first one is China Glaze Flip Flop Fantasy and I've seen Miss Jim Fabulous tweet a picture of her wearing this and I think it's Julep's Hayden. Um, she kind of did the, you know, the, what is it, the ombre manicure or every other nail or however, whatever you call it. But I absolutely fell in love with this color, how bright and like shocking it was. So I went on line and bought it and I absolutely loved it. I put it on my nails the first day it came and I would probably say I've worn it about four times this month which is a lot since I paint my nails every day. The next one is something that I've been wanting for a long time. It was limited edition from last year and I just kind of broke down and went on Amazon and got it eventually because at one point I was saying I really don't like blue nail polishes. I was like okay I really don't like blue on my nails but once I got to looking at my collection I was like what the what because it was most of my nail polishes are blue, which is kind of crazy to me. I have so many blue nail polishes for me to say that I don't like blue nail polish. But this one was one that I definitely wanted, and it is the Sally Hansen Barracuda. And it's not going to come up true to color, but I think it goes on quite a bit brighter than it looks here. Here it kind of looks like Essie's Borrowed in Blue or Hard Candy Sky, but it's really not. It's kind of more of a, a bright... A bright brighter blue it's still like baby blue but it's a little bit brighter than it's coming off here now this is a glitter that I reach for all the time ever since I picked it up when I first saw these glitters I was like eh nothing too special about them I did pick up the um, shine of times because it's um, pretty much exactly like the Sally Hansen hidden treasure which I've like coveted and like barely wear unless you know I have a special occasion or something to go to so I picked up two of the shine of times just to make sure that I always have it but um this one is one that didn't look really too you know exciting to me and it's the Essie Lux, Lux effects um, and set in stones what I like about this it's a super super chunky glitter so um it's not going to be subtle on your nails, so uh, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. I'll try to put in a picture, maybe, maybe not, but this looks so pretty over pinks. Like, um, Color Club, Peppermint Twist, or any kind of like, like, oily Fancy Fuchsia. I know it's popular here on YouTube. Um, th these looks great over those. It kind of looks like, yeah, I know diamonds aren't like silver but this kind of looks like you have little diamonds on your nails and it kind of takes your manicure to another level and makes it look like you've worked really hard on it when you really haven't you just put a coat of this Lux effects over it so I love this I've reached for this multiple multiple times this month now for my fail of the month is gonna have to be this sinful colors extra shiny lip gloss in what color is this? And Pucker Up. Oh my god. So when I saw this in Walgreens, I was like, ooh, that looks a lot like NARS Turkish Delight. And I really hate the smell of Turkish Delight, so I was like, I'm gonna grab it. But this stuff is so disgusting. Like, oh god, I don't know if it's gonna do it, but... Can you see how, like, ooh, gross. It's not only extra shiny, it's, like, extra sticky and disgusting. Like, 
I don't know, and you don't get much color payoff from it at all. And it kind of makes your lips look like you've got like, like you've been eating a lot of fried chicken on your lips. Like, for real, for real. And I really, it just feels disgusting. And the smell is kind of like putrid. I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like disgusting. Like, I, I absolutely hate this lip gloss. And I hate it so much that I'm actually going to get rid of it after this video. Because I don't even want to like give it to anyone and be like oh I don't like this here you can have it no this is disgusting I would say waste your or waste your don't waste your $1.99 on this and just kind of I would go for the Bonnie Bell um, strawberry parfait because it is much better than this sticky gross disgusting mess it's going in the trash Okay, so that is my faves and fails for the month of April. I hope you guys really liked it. And if you make favorites videos, please post them down below so that I could watch them. I love watching y'all's videos. And leave nice, friendly comments below so I can reply back to you if you have any questions. And everything I mentioned will be listed down below with Amazon links as far as where to find them and how much they are so you can find everything that I talked about and as well as if you have any questions about my nails or what I'm wearing. So I will talk to everyone later. I hope you have a amazing, amazing May. It is my anniversary month on the 14th, so I am super excited. It's going to be, I think, eight years. I think eight years. I'm going to be getting so much trouble for that. He's so much better at me than like keeping up with how long it's been. But I hope everyone has an amazing May and my next video is going to either be the face of April that I've been wearing the most or my April haul because I'm just going to do those once a month because I really don't buy that much. So I'll talk to everyone later after that long outro. Bye!